Jay Widener joins us this hour. Jay, a longtime friend of mine and, and this program's, and of course, a filmmaker, a researcher, an author, publisher, producer. He does a lot of different things. Jay is a, a real wise and studied American patriot. He knows what's going on, and it's always a pleasure to talk to him because we don't mince words here. We never do. We have uh, the latest tragedy, of course, the evisceration of another sovereign nation en route to the ultimate plan of a greater Israel over the entire Middle East. And uh, when the uh, international Zionists decide that they want to exert more control and these countries are too stable because out of chaos comes their domination, they take them down. And what they've done, of course, in Syria is as despicable as what was done in Iraq on a smaller scale and what was done to the Afghani people, and, of course, the Libyans. It's the same old story, Jay. Same don't forget cli- the Egyptian. No, no, same thing. Yeah. Uh, the same cliched statements over and over, and the sheep are so damn dumb, they're beyond reclamation now. You don't go back. Oh, I think the tide has uh, definitely turned in the favor. You know, there's a um, a great book that was written in the 90s by two historians called The Fourth Turning. And these guys, you know, these aren't they aren't mystical, they're just practical, you know, historians. And they they saw a pattern in American history where every 85 years or so, uh-huh. there was a major revolution of some kind. Uh-huh. So it was 85 years to the Civil War from the Revolution, then 85 mm-hmm. years to the Great Depression, mm-hmm. and now it's 85 years to here, mm-hmm. uh, and it, this is the what they call the fourth turning. And every time one of these things happens, uh, America at the at the end of the thing is completely transformed. And um, and everything, every turning is a shadow of the previous turnings. So the Civil War was a shadow of the things that the Revolution didn't accomplish or finish, mm-hmm. i.e., what to do with slavery. Mm-hmm. And uh, the um, Great Depression was, uh, what, what, what most people don't realize is that the Civil War was really about two things. It really wasn't as much about slavery, although that was an issue. It was really um, what the issue was, was that Abraham Lincoln, if you read his letters, he he knew that I, um, the bankers in Europe were funding both the pro-slavery and the anti-slavery movements. Right. And, and, they, and, and, and so that, he knew that succession was legal, but he knew also that if he allowed it, it would allow the, it would fall... The country would split into two and make it easier for these bankers to control us. And he was saying this in his letters, a very astute uh, language uh, that he was using. And so the, the Great Depression uh, turning, the third turning, was really the final result of the war that Lincoln lost, which was really the country finally did get taken over by these international bankers. Yeah. And so now we're at the fourth turning and it's a combination of uh, the war against Europe uh, that started with the uh, revolution, uh, the unfinished job of, of racist, racial policies in this country and racism. Eugenics, and, too. Mm. And eugenics, and the bankers, which happened, of course, mm-hmm. uh, the last time. Remember, they were also, it's important to point out, the Federal Reserve, the template, I call it the Rothschild Federal Reserve or the Rothschild yeah, Central Banking is. The Rothschild Central Banking Template is in place in every country but three on the planet. Now, that plan, we call it the Fed here, was first formulated and begun to really put, well, they put it together and built it. It was like a machine in the late 1880s, early 1890s. This That's thing right. was around before. Yeah. We're looking on the 100th anniversary of, of the Federal Reserve Act, but they planned this 20, 30 years in advance. They, they don't mess around. No, that's right. There was a, it, 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 it's so well planned that it's jaw dropping, and uh, uh, you know may, many people like you know David Icke have to resort to reptilians and uh, aliens and off planet things and supernatural powers and demons and archons and Satan and everybody's searching for this this supra intelligence that seems to be behind it all, and it's 
you know, I don't know what exactly what it is, except that I agree with everyone that there's something extremely uh, it, disturbing. About it's got to be. It's got to be at the very least a realm of consciousness amongst this species that is so completely hidden. Most people never could even dream of it being there. And it's beyond evil. You can call it satanic. It's beyond satanic. Maybe it's off planet. It doesn't matter. We have so many horrific examples of inhuman yep. behavior, non-human behavior, subhuman behavior yep. on this planet. There's no other explanation to me than that there is some kind of consciousness here that is not recognizable to to the average or or most humans period and agree. it's running the show and it and and it, it apparently it's its number one goal is 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 not power that's its second goal its number one goal is to hide itself oh, and boy has it yeah it, it has and then the power comes yeah. within that that realm of hiding hiding itself right and so here we are at the fourth turning, right? And interesting. Um, and 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 it looks. I hate to tell everyone because I was very hopeful uh, four to six years ago that this fourth turning, which I had read the books in the early nineties, the book, mm-hmm. and I was you know very hopeful that the Ron Paul movement was part of a change. Oh of, no! Of, 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 Just, of the fourth turning. Sorry, changing. misdirection, yeah. folks. Window yeah. dressing. They took that thing over so quickly and penetrated. And so it. here we are. It's, it's yeah. Obama, and it's yeah. and it's a Marxist takeover. It's a, a Marxist Bolshevik uh, takeover, and there are yeah. going to be a lot of people dying, uh, one way or the other. I'm not saying they're going to be combat in the streets, although that's a fifty fifty proposition, as you well, well know, Jay. They can the they can start this any time they want. Did you see the video from from Michigan when they passed the right to work law? Correct. Well, that place exploded. Yeah, and uh, it's going to get worse. And uh, they can do so, whatever they want. They they literally can do whatever they want. Nothing is left to chance. Everything that happens is by design, uh, all by planning. There's, there's very little spot. Look at the Tea Party. The, here's an example. What? Oh, where did they go? Yeah. All right. This is a perfect case in point. <laughs> here's a real in the beginning, in the very beginning of the Tea Party, a real spontaneous grassroots movement of Americans to try to take this country back. It was so quickly penetrated compromised from the inside out yeah. and taken down it wasn't even funny who was the keynote speaker at their first national convention sarah palin come on when you saw that you know it was over and what happened to ron paul yeah. where are all the bills that ron paul should have been introducing over the years i'm not knocking ron he did some really good things but come on where are all the bills that should still be in congress yeah i i don't understand it um, he, he was penetrated. He was compromised somehow, some way. Somehow. somehow and, uh, threatened his family. And his little creepy son with his newly uh, curled locks is talking yeah. about 2016 already. I, I just, sorry. Uh, I, he, he, he's, he's useless. If he thinks he's going to get any of the Ron Paulers, he's out of his mind. Now that they're endorsing Romney. So, you know, that, that it's, it's just quite amazing. And I, I guess we're there. We're going to be there in we're there. years. We're there. 2020 or so will be a full, yeah. blown uh, Marxist. We're already it's there. kind we're, of odd. Why yeah, would yeah. we choose when the Marxist model is vastly, obviously failing? The more Marxist a country is, i.e. Greece or Spain, uh-huh. the quicker they're going. Uh-huh. Um, why are we choosing that model? It's very odd. I don't think the Americans are choosing anything anymore. Are they? They're yeah. just being given, and they just take it. I'm not mm-hmm. sure about that. I mean, I, I've been traveling lately and talking to people, and dang, they really actually kind of like Obama and what's going uh, on. Oh, that is the most uh, <laughs> frightful thing. Uh, honest to God, I don't. Un- I do not understand it. Yeah, well, you know, here here's how we have to boil it down, Jay, and look at it, I think. This is a media culture. Yep. He's a media phenomenon. He's a media creature. Yep. It's all about photo ops. It's all about telegenicity it's all about galvanic skin response was the old tool they used to use 30 35 40 years ago but it's way beyond that now it's all about how he projects and presents and how he reads and his head angles and his demeanor and his posture it's it's all about people relating uh that's apparently exactly right